my cheat meals, not a cheat day. I ain't yelling at y'all, but some of y'all need to hear that. We're going to make sure that we don't get caught off guard by summer this year. We're going to be ready for summer. Hey everyone, welcome back. Happy 2022. Happy New Year. Thank you all so much for supporting me um, throughout, you know, last year. I'm kind of trying to get a little bit more consistent with my content. So I really appreciate all the comments, all the views, all the love. So I, I don't know about y'all, but I really thought in 2022 that we was going to have flying cars when I was a kid. Like I'm a little... I'm a little disappointed, but that's neither here nor there. So today I'm coming to you all with a different type of video. I actually posted a poll on my Instagram um, about my weight loss and a lot of my followers requested for me to do a video. So here I am at the top of the year. I figured this is the best time to do it. You know, we're all setting our goals and intentions on the year. So why not do a video about you know, some things that help me um, lose weight and get close to my weight loss goal because I have not gotten there just yet, but I am very happy with the progress that I've made so far. So first things first, if you're not following me on Instagram, definitely make sure you go over there and follow me, House of Fresh Stick. Um, like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you think about this video. If there's anything in the video that I touched on that you feel like maybe you want a more in detail explanation about definitely let me know in the comments below i might do another video or either i may sneak it like somewhere in the blog it just depends on how many people ask me to um, expound on whatever i'm talking about so i have some notes here on my phone um, i'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into it as far as some of the things that i began to do um that helped me with you know losing weight so First thing first was I adjusted what I was eating. Um, now, this was back when kind of like I started my journey before, I would say right at the beginning of the pandemic, if like probably like March 2020, I kind of had a little bit of a bender where I was like, oh, so we about to be in the house for like the next month or so and I ain't got to go nowhere. So of course, you know, everybody just like, well, I'm about to eat. I ain't got to worry about nobody seeing me. And so, but then something just clicked and it was just like, you honestly can use this time to do the complete opposite and lose weight because I've always had an issue with, you know, you work a nine to five, sitting in traffic two hours a day, you know, you come home, who wants to cook? You know, let's just be realistic. The first thing that you think to do is to grab something fast, fast food, drive through, eating it and go. So I was literally like some days I would have Chick-fil-A three times a day. I mean, breakfast, lunch, dinner. And just to kind of think back on maybe like how many calories I was intaking in a day was just like, that was a lot. So definitely adjusted the way I was eating. Um, and I was, y'all, I was doing all that and I wasn't even being active on top of all that. So that was the first thing I did. I adjusted the way I was eating. Number two, I started intermittent fasting. Um, and so this was something that I actually did as like a kid in school and I didn't even know what I was doing, but I would literally get up. I would not eat breakfast because I never had time. I was always rushing. So I would not eat breakfast in the morning and I wouldn't eat until lunchtime. And then I kind of ate from lunchtime. And then when I got home, I would have dinner and then that would be that. So I started doing intermittent fasting again. So what that means for me is I have my first meal at noon. Um, and then I continue to eat throughout the day and I have my last meal before seven. And so I try to do this mainly throughout the week, the weekdays. Um, I give myself a little bit of leisure on the weekends because I'm not about to deprive myself. Like I'm realistic with my goals and I'm not trying to, you know, get to this extreme number in a short period of time. And that's something I'm going to touch on a little bit later. So one of the tools that I utilized to help me to stay on track with what I was eating was my fitness pal. So yes, I did start to count calories. And so what I did was I plugged in um, my goal 
and it told me exactly how many calories I needed to eat every single day. And so with this, you have a log. You can log your weight, you can log your food, and you can plug in exactly what you're eating and then it'll generate the amount of calories that each of the items that you're eating. And while it's doing that, it's taken away from your overall total calories that you have to eat for the day. So it kind of gets you to think about, you know, do I really need this burger? You know, or maybe the burger without the bun. You know, like little things like that because then you start to see how quickly these calories can add up with just the smallest things that you're eating. You don't even think about it. So next thing was, and I know some of y'all, some of y'all might come for me on this one, but I started weighing myself every day. The reason why I weighed myself every single day was because it gave me it was kind of like a reality check every single day so say for instance if i ate something i would get on the scale the next morning and you i don't care what they tell you you can literally see your weight fluctuate in a day so if i got on the scale and if i went up point two whatever the next day i'm eating something different and so for me it allowed me to train my mind and let me know what was okay for me to eat and how much of it and you know it kind of gave me a gauge to see you know what i could and could not eat so i don't do that today but it definitely helped me out and i made sure to give myself a mental note that you know don't put too much stress on yourself like don't try to make sure like every single day you see it's going down a pound this was mainly a learning lesson for me so that i can see exactly how food was affecting my body and so that helped me out tremendously and i did that for about the first i would say six months of my weight loss journey and then after that i kind of got a hang for it so I knew what I could and kind of could not eat or either how much I could eat. Um, another thing that I utilized was a digital scale that I purchased from Amazon, which I'll be sure any products that I talk about in the video, I'll be sure to link them in my description box. But I did use a digital scale and with this scale, it comes with instructions and it tells you um, about the app that you can download. And so when you download the app to your phone, you'll be able to track and see your progress. I love this scale because it literally breaks down everything. It breaks down your bone mass. It breaks down your body fat, visceral fat. I didn't even know what visceral fat was. And I started looking into it and I'm like, oh, wow. Like it literally breaks every single thing down so I can see exactly if my weight goes up, you know, it may not be that I actually gain fat. It could be that I'm just, I'm in the gym, I'm working out and I'm gaining muscle. And I think that's another thing that a lot of us have to realize depending on our body because we're all different. But the scale might not go anywhere or it may not, you know, it may go up, but you could literally just be gaining muscle, but you're losing inches. So we have to keep that in mind because like we just put so much pressure on ourselves to like get reach these unattainable goals and i really don't want y'all to do that so next thing is i incorporated drinking a gallon of water a day now i'm gonna be honest with you i i drink water but i don't i didn't like drinking a gallon but it made sense because if you think about it, you're constantly drinking water and you're going to the bathroom. So whatever you're eating is constantly flushing it, flushing it. And so once I started to kind of like, it was like a light bulb went off. And once I started to notice that, I was like, now I see why everybody say drink a gallon of water because it also assists with your digestion and make sure that stuff is, you know, pushing out because whether you know it or not, we can literally hold like 10 pounds of waste in our body and it's not and but we think like oh my gosh i've gained weight you know so if like any of my friends i have this one friend she i can't stand her sometimes because she just petty so she'll like anytime she go on vacation she like oh girl i need to lose like i done gained like four or five pounds since you know like a week or something like that and i tell her go poop like, and I was telling her that way before I had even started my weight loss. And I'm like, girl, go poop. 
I wouldn't say it so nice, like I would say the other word, but I would like go poop and she would laugh at me, but I'm like, no, seriously. A lot of us are walking around and we're carrying around a lot of waste um, inside of us. And so that can also contribute to your weight uh, going up and like poor digestion as well. So I purchased this water bottle um, from Amazon and now I'll be sure to link it. I got like a little water down there uh, left. I've actually got to the point where I can drink a gallon of water in like, like an hour max. Um, I just be trying to get it out of the way, but that means that I'll be going to the bathroom like constantly, but it's fine. Um, another thing that I did was I started uh, working out. So I started, I found a gym that was close by, um, a CrossFit gym, which I absolutely love. Um, I tried for a very long time. I've done personal trainers. I've tried to go to the gym, LA Fitness, Planet Fitness, and just like, you know, go in there and get on a treadmill and just run my little heart out. Honey, none of that, none of that peak or kept my interest. I've been like now today, I think I've been doing CrossFit for like two years now, but I've been more serious about it as far as my nutrition and everything. Um, probably like once the pandemic started, I got a little more serious about my nutrition and that's when I started to see like results. So, um, CrossFit is that girl, like she makes me feel like a bad bitch. Like when you're in there and you lifting them weights, honey, it just make you feel like a little bad bitch. And I'm gonna insert some video of me, like, um, it's videos that I've kind of gotten like over time where I've, just got like little workout clips and stuff. So I'll insert that, but you feel like a little, mm. you feel like, a, you feel strong. You feel real strong. So, um, with CrossFit, I do that. Um, I do eight sessions a month. So the first two weeks out of the month, I do three sessions. And then the third week in the month, I do two sessions. And of course, when my, visitor is in town i do not work out i don't care what nobody say oh it make you feel better no ma'am that's my time to rest that's my time to sit down like no ma'am so i don't work out that week um i still have cheat meals i'm not gonna lie i still have my cheat meals not a cheat day i ain't yelling at y'all but some of y'all need to hit it i have cheat meals Okay, and so depend on what I'm eating, I make sure that I account for those calories and honey, I'm not about to waste no calories. Like wherever I go and I eat, it, it's, it gotta be good. It gotta be good. Like I'm a, if I'm gonna be eating this cal these calories, it's gonna taste the f good. So that's that and I've actually noticed where um, if I plan everything the right way, as far as how I'm eating, um, when I have cheat meals, I don't even have a fluctuation in my weight. If I just go crazy and go stupid and I'm just eating, you know, then I might go up a pound or two, but you know, nothing like too drastic. Even over the holidays, I pretty much ate what I wanted. Um, and I didn't really gain like a whole lot of weight. I just gained like a little bit. So um, anytime I would have sweet cravings, um, I, my go-to is my pink drink from Starbucks and I'll be sure to insert a little, uh, video showing my order and what I get, but that is like, that's my go-to and you know, I may have a lemon loaf with it, you know, if I'm craving something. Um, or sometimes I might just do the drink, but I'll definitely be sharing y'all my recipe. I love anything like the pink drink, boba, like anything like that suffice my sweet craving. Um, and it helps me to kind of like stay on track, but still kind of like feed into that craving, especially when it's like the week before my friend come in town. Yeah. Like she wants everything fried, everything sweet, everything, just all that. So that definitely helps um and lastly what i would say is just i want you guys to stay consistent i want you to give yourself realistic goals um and be patient and definitely listen to your body 
that was something that helped me out tremendously was just listening to my body if you're eating certain foods and you feel sluggish or you feel gassy you know you may want to minimize how much of that you're eating and not you know consume so much of it but that was probably one of the biggest things i would say that helped me was me actually listening to my body um so everybody is gonna be different i'm definitely not any type of nutritionist i don't claim to be um but these are just some things that helped me throughout my weight loss journey and i am still going through it so i'm going to actually show you all where i currently am um show you my body where i currently am i have a good ways to go but i'm very happy with the results and where i am so for this journey moving forward i'm going to be more so working on toning definitely you know kicking things up a notch with my nutrition trying different you know vegetables like i don't like vegetables but I do like certain type of vegetables like I like broccolini I like broccoli asparagus and I recently tried Brussels sprouts and I actually like them so but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what I'm looking like okay y'all so I think you can see me but here is where I am um year today so this is like a front view and then this is a side view. Alright, and then back. And then other side. All right, you guys, so hopefully some of the tips that I've shared in this video will be helpful for you. Um, definitely comment down below to let me know if there's anything that you want me to explain a little bit more. I don't know, maybe like what I eat in a day type of video or, you know, like my exercise workout routine i'm not sure i don't know what y'all want to know but you know comment down below and i'll definitely try my best to answer the best of my ability so let's go into 2022 set these new goals and we're gonna make sure that we don't get caught off guard by summer this year we're gonna be ready for summer we're gonna be ready for summer so thanks for watching and i'll catch y'all next time